It's the last week for Medicare open enrollment. Now we've been sharing tips the last couple of months and today we have the crash course for you with Health Texas. And joining us now to guide us through it are Dr. Roland Arena, of course, founder of Health Texas and Glenda Pope from United Healthcare. Welcome both of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for being here and Thank answering you. some of these questions because it, it can get confusing for, for a lot of folks at this time of year with annual enrollment. So the deadline, of course, is happening Saturday. What happens if folks don't choose a plan, Glenda? So you're right, the deadline is fast approaching. December the 7th is the deadline on Saturday. This is the only opportunity for people with Medicare plans to make a change. Um, if you don't do anything, then you could be locked into the current plan. And if anything has changed, if your budget has changed, your health condition has changed, or if the current plan you're in has changed, if you do nothing, you may be in for some unpleasant surprises and surprises next year and lose out on some cost savings for 2020. Especially if you haven't been paying attention on yes. what those changes are to whatever plan you're on at the moment. Yes. So if you want to be on Medicare Advantage, you want to do that, of course, by the deadline. Now, can folks make changes to their plan after the deadline if they don't like what they've selected? Well, for many, this is the only opportunity to make a change to their current plan. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you don't do anything, mm -hmm. as I said mm -hmm. before, you may be in for some unpleasant surprises. But there is an opportunity, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, beginning January 1st through March the 31st, that's the annual open enrollment period, where you can make a change, but you have to have a Medicare Advantage plan in order to do that. You can't change from original Medicare and then go into a Medicare Advantage plan. So the best advice I can give take the next few days to make a decision and enroll. And of course, Dr. Reyna, why is it so important for seniors uh, to have a Medicare Advantage plan and choose a primary care doctor or primary care physician, PCP? You know, when you have a Medicare Advantage plan, it's medicine the way it should be delivered. You have somebody who's highly coordinating your care, they get the right doctors involved, the right specialists, people who work together, people who take good care of you. And, and I think that, that that's really the way it should be. And going into the holiday season, it's important to remember our seniors, right? Yes, absolutely. You know, what happens around the holidays is that people who've lost people, uh, the holiday season is a very difficult time. Many people get depressed. Uh, so I think it's important to pay attention to this, uh, your, your parents, uh, people who've lost people, actually even young people as well, because up to 15% of people have depression sometime in their lifetime. And uh, during the holidays, a very difficult time for many people in that regard. So pay attention to them. Give them a call. Tell them that you love them. Spend some time with them. Bring those grandkids over. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Spread it's, that holiday it's, cheer. It's important. It's important stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Well, of course, for more information on Health Texas, be sure to check out their website, healthtexas.org, or give them a call at 210-731-HTMG. That's 210-731-4864 if you have any additional questions about open enrollment or annual enrollment. Because remember, that deadline is fast approaching, or just head to healthtexas.org.